Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, I haven't done a vid for a while, so I thought I'd uh, get the camera out and uh, yeah, do a bit of a vid. Had the week off work, so uh, it's been good. Obviously, all the chaos <clears throat> that's been happening with this uh, bloody coronavirus. It's um, yeah, it's bloody manic out there. And uh, if you ever want to go to the cinemas now, probably be a good, good time to go because there's hardly anyone there. So there's my tip. Uh, anyway, get on, on with the brewing side of things. Um, here's the old element. A bit of scorching happening there, so I've bought myself a new one. I got a couple of goodies in the mail last week. So there's the new one, crystal clean. And um, <clears throat> yeah, so I'll just install that today, so that's going to be good. How's the brew Not too sure why it started scorching the other one. Um, it seems to be boiling okay, but um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe there's an issue with the circuit, I don't know. But um, anyway, just decided to you know, buy a new one anyway. I was actually in the market for a new refractometer, so um, got the, the new Butte ones from uh, Kegland. So it has the SG and the bricks reading as well, and um, comes with a pipette. And, uh, just a screwdriver to uh, adjust the settings as well. So it's uh, a little bit exciting, which is good. Um, the brew I'm going to be doing today is an Oktoberfest. Um, it's just a style of beer that I really like. Um, you know, pretty malty, um, sometimes floral notes. I believe Hallatau is the um, is the hop used. So uh, yeah. I'll, Crack on with preparation and uh, come back in a bit. <sighs> Sorry, um, I thought I heard a knock at the door and uh, this just turned up. So it's essentially, um, I'm not too sure if you picked up the, the title there. It's essentially um, just a really cool um, like colouring book. Well, it's a little bit childish, but um, with uh, you know some of the uh, designs, you can get some really cool uh, pencils these days too. So um, looking forward to uh, you know unwinding and just chilling out. Um, very cool illustrations. I guess you have like the main one, which trickles into um, you know all sorts of weird and, and wonderful characters. But um, yeah, uh, a friend of mine just uh, let me know about these books and um, I might actually put the picture up of one that I did and it's uh, yeah, quite vivid with all the colours and stuff like that so anyway, I'm rambling a little bit so um, I'm going to crack on with the brew day. Cheers. Alright guys, um, just mashed in, 69, uh, so was actually aiming for a little bit lower than that, I was aiming for around 66, but um, yeah, so strike temp was uh, 69, since I've just uh, added the grain about two minutes ago, I've got a couple of uh, you know, stirs, pretty vigorous stirs for about 20 seconds, so get rid of all the dough balls. Um, the mash temps are now 67, so that's pretty good. I was aiming for a 66, so I'm sure one degree won't hurt too much. Um, yeah, so just the usual story. Uh, one hour mash, stir every 20 minutes. And um, yeah, next time I'll see you, we'll be at uh, around about the boil. So uh, hopefully we get our pre-boil um, gravity rigging for after. All right, cool. guys um, just reaching the boil now so the only hop addition for this one is uh, 50 grams of halitau so let's get it in now at the start of the boil
Okay, so post mash, uh, we achieved our numbers, 10.41. So <clears throat> that's on the money. Um, hopefully we can achieve our numbers after the boil. So uh, rather than bore you with the details of uh, just footage from down here, I might uh, complete this bit upstairs while I'm having a beer. And um, got some brisket cooking uh, on the smoker at the moment. It's only been going for about 50 minutes. So uh, yeah, next time I see you, I'll probably have a beer and maybe a brisket burger in front of me. So uh, yeah, I'll see you then. G'day, all right, so um, <clears throat> I'm having a beverage, it's uh, 2.30, so yes, cheers. All right, so let's talk numbers. Um, Bruto went really well, really well. Um, uh, Pre-boil <clears throat> gravity was 10.41, which is on the money, and the measured original gravity is 10.55, which is five points above. I'm not too sure how um, how it can jump up that much. Um, I have been very happy with my uh, last couple of brews. So, brew house efficiency was 68, but measured efficiency was 81 percent. So. Not too sure what's happening there. Um, yeah, so original gravity 1055. The recipe uh, calls for. Uh, sorry, <clears throat> the measured final gravity they've estimated to be 1010, which would give me an ABV around about 5.9, which is okay for an Oktoberfest. Um, the yeast I'm using uh, is the Mangrove Jacks. Uh, I might just take a picture and super that on the screen. Uh, so yeah, first time using that yeast, um, but essentially, yeah, really happy with Brew Day. Did get some scorching on the element though, so not too sure if I need to install uh, like a limiter or, or something like that for the element because, yeah, this one's brand new and it's, it's literally the first use today, so not too sure what's happening there either. Um, yeah, any tips about that? I'd like to hear it. Uh, I know Kegland do have a, uh, like a, a watt, wattage. Uh, not limited, but um, you can basically you know, determine what um, percentage that element can run at. So, I uh, might look at purchasing one of those. Uh, Going to ferment at 10 degrees with that yeast, and then maybe lager for maybe two to three weeks, uh, up to a month. So, yeah, we'll just have to um, see how things are going. So yeah, Wurtz in the um, in the fermenter, and it's currently with the you know with the uh, I think with Wi-Fi it's currently at 31. It's coming down. Um, as soon as it gets to about 28, I'll pitch the yeast. Got two packets, and um, yeah, we'll go from there. So yeah, um, pretty happy. Um, the brisket isn't ready yet. It's uh, they put it on 20 past 12. So it's just over two hours. But uh, I'll probably take it off after about four, four hours. Uh, yeah, got the fun stuff of um, you know cleaning up the brewery downstairs. Had a couple of uh, old fashions last night. So it's always exciting when you're on those. Uh, yeah. But essentially, life's good. Life's good. Um, yeah, before I waffle on too much, I'm going to enjoy this beer. Uh, maybe chill out the couch, chill out on the couch for a couple of minutes, and then um, yeah, head downstairs and clean the brewery. Yeah. Hope you're all well. Yeah, I think the main message these days is to uh, just keep an eye on your hygiene, you know? Um, so, yeah, make sure you wash your hands. Alright, cheers.